My name is Robert West and I'm Professor in the Faculty of Population Health Sciences at University College in London. There's a lot of uh, noise going around about whether e-cigarettes help or hinder people from stopping smoking, but the evidence that's emerging now is very clear that it helps people to stop smoking. The only question is, how much does it help? So we have evidence from randomised controlled trials, including a recent randomised controlled trial comparing it with nicotine replacement therapy, showing that e-cigarettes were more effective than licensed nicotine products in helping people to stop smoking in a clinic. We also have evidence in the UK where e-cigarettes have become popular that the population rate of quitting smoking has become higher as the uh, prevalence of e-cigarette use has gone up. So we have population level evidence, and we also have evidence that um, people who use e-cigarettes when they try to stop smoking in the population are more likely to succeed than if they use nothing at all, or if they just buy a licensed nicotine product over the counter. Now, it's extremely rare in our field to have evidence from all these three sources, clinical trials, observational studies and population level data and they're all showing a very similar thing. Again, there is a lot of uh, controversy around whether e-cigarettes might encourage people to start smoking because they start on an e-cigarette and they then go on to smoking. The evidence in both the United States and the UK at the population level is very clear that it doesn't that the rates at which smoking prevalence have gone down in the UK and in the United States is at least as fast following the introduction of e-cigarettes as it was before e-cigarettes came on the market. So what you hear is that young people who use an e-cigarette are also more likely to smoke, but this is due to the fact that these young people have a common predisposition to either smoke or use an e-cigarette and it's not a causal relationship. E-cigarettes are not completely safe. You're inhaling a material into the lungs, propylene glycol, glycerol, flavorings and other things into the lungs and that will irritate the lungs and potentially cause harm in the long term. However, Compared with cigarette smoke, which is extremely dangerous, or any form of tobacco smoke, the concentration of toxic chemicals in the e-cigarette vapour is substantially less, and most of the harmful chemicals that are present in cigarette smoke are not present in e-cigarette vapour. Again, you see lots of stories in the press and arguments and papers out in the scientific literature which are claiming that e-cigarettes are as harmful as cigarette smoke. However, these are highly misleading because they're not making appropriate comparisons with cigarette smoke. My message to the regulators is don't take on trust what so-called experts, even so-called experts like myself, are telling you. You cannot afford to, and the reason for that is that so-called experts are coming at this issue with preconceptions and with biases, unfortunately. So you have to look at it dispassionately and look at the evidence in the round and try to understand what it is that the evidence is telling us. And so, unfortunately, many of the um, stories that we get told, uh, and it's, I can understand it's very difficult for regulators to say, well, who's telling the truth? What's going on here? Many of the stories that experts are putting forward are false. Now, one way that you can tell whether, I think, whether an expert is someone to be trusted or not is if they caveat their remarks. If you've got an expert telling you e-cigarettes are definitely a gateway into smoking, that's an expert, in my opinion, they cannot say that with the sort of certainty that they are proclaiming it. Similarly, when they say that e-cigarettes are as harmful as smoking based on, for example, um, studies on mice. So um, just think very carefully before trusting anyone, uh, in including the people who are, who are proclaimed experts, and look very carefully at the data yourself and analyse it.